we got up this morning, it was calm, it was quiet, I mean, it was just dead still. And then we were down on a canyon on top of that, so there wasn't even a breath of wind. So you, know, you, didn't, you don't want to make any noise, but we, we knew that with that weather break, the deer should be moving. Chris was over there looking out the window and I could hear him whispering, I think that's our deer. You know, I stuck my head out just a little bit just to see and I was like, yeah, that's, that's him. That's the big 10 we're after, but we we're gonna have to wait a little bit. It's still pretty dark. You know, the deer is there and my biggest concern was light. It was early enough, but they weren't excited. You know, these deer weren't gonna go anywhere. I wanted to make sure that we'd, we'd done all the work. Austin had done a ton of work. We put a lot of time in the blinds and I wanna make sure that we got it a good shot in good light. So I was ready to take the shot, knew the light was good, and um, he was kind of hovering between that 35 and 40 range. And we were shooting the targets and I was a little bit with the crossbow in the beginning, I was struggling a little bit there. So all that was coming back in my mind like, oh great, here, here, here he is right where I didn't want him to be. But that's the way it works, right, Murphy's Law. So ready to take the shot, uh, knew everybody was set to go, and then he kind of Started turning, turning, he was facing square at me, so I had a head-on shot, which is obviously something I'm not gonna do. Stood there for a while, and then he turned and walked behind a, a Wiesetch tree. Started to get nervous that he was gonna go too far away. We turned right back around, and then he was starting to come out of the Wiesetch tree, and I could just see his head, and then he took about two more steps, and, and uh, I was ready to go.